Hi, I am Dr. Neha Jain. I am a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician and also an infertility specialist. I have done my MBBS and post-graduation from Lady Harding Medical College. Currently, I am running my own clinic with the name Dr. Jain's Bliss and Bless Women's Health Clinic and Dr. Jain's Path Lab in Mehroli. I am also associated as a visiting consultant with hospitals like Fortis Hospital and Ediva Hospital. Today I would like to talk about PCOD, that is polycystic ovarian disease. As such, the incidence of PCOD reported worldwide is something around 7 to 22 percent. But in our day-to-day -day clinical practice, we see one out of every two patients is suffering from this disease. Now first, I would uh, like to talk about the symptoms of PCOS. The commonest symptom of PCOS is menstrual irregularities. That is, there will be either delayed cycles, short cycles or frequent cycles. These all are signs of an ovulation. Then there, uh, the next symptoms are the signs and symptoms of hyperandrogenism. Androgen are like male hormones and uh, here we will see that the patient may have hirsutism that is excessive uh, hair growth or uh, male pattern baldness or acne. If you go to your doctor then your doctor would suggest you some tests and on these tests you may get reports like excess free testosterone levels or free androgen index is high. Then the third symptom is of polycystic ovaries on ultrasound. Now, if one is having polycystic ovaries on ultrasound, that does not mean that does not mean that the patient is suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome. In fact, in people with uh, polycystic ovaries, only about 20% have a problem of PCOD. Then uh, your doctor will rule out other causes of uh, hyperandrogenism that is hyperthyroidism or hyperprolactinemia. Now PCOD is associated mostly with obesity and with lifestyle issues. It is also seen in ladies with the family history of diabetes or metabolic syndromes. Now the foremost important thing which I would like to talk about is the treatment of course. Lifestyle modification is the first thing which we advise to our patients. In lifestyle changes, patient needs to do exercises. Almost 30 to 40 minute exercises per day are recommended, which have to be moderate to severe in nature. Then uh, dietary changes need to be made. Patients are advised to avoid fried food, fatty food, junk foods, then uh, sweets, sugars, empty calories have to be avoided. Reduction in 5% of the weight can result in 50% improvement of your, of your symptoms or chances of women to become pregnant. So that is the mainstay of treatment. Then next your doctor would suggest you some medications like metformin or uh, combined oral contraceptive pills. So, in uh, short, that is uh, what uh, I wanted to talk about PCOD, which is mainly a lifestyle problem and you need to improve your uh, lifestyle in order to get rid of this disease. Uh, in case of any problem or any such issue, you can come to my clinic or book an appointment via library. Thank you.